Hi, I'm Maggie. Hi, I'm Kiani. This is University Dining Services, and today we'll be making milkshakes. We've already washed our hands and put on our gloves, so first we'll start by grabbing a steel tumbler. If you look at the cup, there are two dimples. You'll be filling the ice cream up to the top dimple. We have both chocolate and vanilla. For this example, we'll be using vanilla. We'll be filling up to the second dimple. It'll cool around and there will be gaps. That's what we want. Next up, we add the toppings. For each shake, we use two ounces of toppings. For wet toppings like cherries, we use a black one ounce ladle. For dry toppings like cookie crumbles, we use a black one ounce scoop. For this example, let's add two ounces of cookie. Now we add the milk. You use just enough milk to cover everything in the cup. For thicker milkshakes, use less milk. For thinner milkshakes, use more milk. Next up is to mix the shake. You take the cup over to the blender and place the rim of the cup under the lid of the blender. The blender will do most of the work for you. Just leave it there for 20 to 30 seconds. When you're mixing, make sure the mixed blade doesn't rub up against the sides of the cup. You'll know it's rubbing when you hear this sound. And that's pretty much it. Next, we pour it in the cup for the customer. Be careful though, because thick milkshakes tend to come out all at once. Now let's get cleaned up. It's important not to let stuff dry in the cups or to let them pile up too high. So now we're going to wash the cups. We have three sinks. The wash tank, the rinse tank, and the sanitized tank. You take the cup, you put it in the hot soapy water, take it out, make sure it's all clean inside, put it in the rinse tank, and then put it in the sanitizer for a few seconds. Take it out and let it air dry. And, and that's, that's how you make a milkshake. milkshake.